Hey guys, and welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal. In this episode, we have one week to prepare before we re-enter Maruki's palace to try and rescue her. But in the meantime, we have to try and convince the Phantom Thieves to rejoin us. All the while doing exactly what Maruki wants us to do, which is explore his new reality, which... Yeah, this part really sucks. I'm not gonna lie. I've not been looking forward to this episode, but we gotta do it. We gotta keep walking forward. Quite literally. Also, hi there. Isn't it wonderful that Kotaro's feeling better? Yeah! Now we can go for walks again! Woof woof. I wasn't sure what was going to happen last year, but now he's like a completely different dog. It's like we're in a dream. So yeah, just... Not Joker and his close friends. Everybody around Shibuya and heck, even all of Japan is experiencing a lot of changes in their life. Unfortunately, you can't talk to all of them. There's no time for shopping. We have to prepare, which would involve shopping. This game, I swear, so. It's sort of a linear path on your way to finding the Phantom Thieves. Unfortunately, you can't talk to all of your confidants, but I get why they did that. It's more of a focused approach, but there are still some NPCs you can talk to, to, uh, you know, learn about what's going on, what the people think about it, but we're primarily focusing on, you know, our friends and all that, so let's get to it. I wonder who we'll bump into next. Like, it's not an incredibly, uh, straightforward shot. <laughs> it sort of is, but, you know, hang around here and see some of the extra dialogue for a bit, you know, all that. But man, the first time I played this, I was... Ugh, we'll get to that later. I just want to say, as a guy who's known these characters for a super long time, this next part's kind of rough. Just my two cents, I guess. For real? Oh my god, you did it, Chio? I knew you could! It's all thanks to you supporting me. I really appreciate it, Han. Not the one who deserves the credit. You kept up your best effort, and now you're finally being recognized. <laughs> huh? Hey, I can't believe it. Over here. Hey, girls. What's up? Talk about a coincidence. It's been a while since the last time you saw Shiho, right? Um. Yeah, a little while. Long time no see. Do you remember me? Uh, yeah, of course I do. How's your leg? Oh. Right. Yeah. I've been well. Thank you for asking. I'm surprised you remembered, though. We didn't even get to talk all that much since I transferred to another school. So we're early in the semester. <laughs> of course he remembers you. He has to remember. What with the bragging I've told him all about how amazing my BFF is at volleyball? Come <laughs> on. Sorry you have to put up with all that. I don't mind. Shiho was the MVP at the big meet the other day, too. Not only was she in the starting lineup, but she scored more points than anybody else. No wonder she's the star of the team. I'm just so proud of you, Shiho. Jeez. You're too much. <laughs> the two of them are beaming with joy. Wow, it's almost infectious. Seems this reality is the one that On wished for. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention, Shiho's coming back to her school. Everyone in volleyball knows that Shujin's the top school when it comes to the sport. That's how I was able to convince my parents to let me transfer back. After more than a little begging. I was sad when she transferred for her parents' jobs. But all's well that ends well. I feel like everything's just perfect. Uh, yeah. Is it everything you ever wished for? And more? Hmm? Uh, uh, what I wished for? Well, I guess you could say so. Is it better than it was before? You know, this way? I mean, both you and Shio are here. Everything is going great, so it's definitely better than the alternative. Like when we... Wait, huh? But, but... Something is... I remember being so cornered that I just wanted to die. But then I met everyone and... <sighs> I hate to say this, but hang on to that thought. I need you to. Um... 
when is that? Uh, Shio's still alive, even after all the things that made her want to die. You have no right to run from this. Uh, huh? I just... On. What's wrong? Are you okay? Oh, uh, I'm fine. I think I'm just feeling a bit tired. Why don't we go find some place to sit and relax for a bit? Uh, sorry. I'll call you later. Bye. See you. <laughs> Dang it, man. Seems all I can do now is wait. <laughs> I don't know. What would you do in this situation? We obviously need Ann's help, but she's having so much fun. She has everything she'd ever want. She got her best friend back. Ann seemed happy to be with Shiho. He was able to continue playing volleyball. But is this truly how things should be? Check up on the other members tomorrow. Get used to reading that! Yeah, we have to do this for every single Phantom Thief, and... It's a little bit on the repetitive side. That's my only real critique, but, uh... Still not bad. It's pretty darn effective, but... Still got more people to see. And a Bootsy right outside, so if you wanted to pop in and say hi to Sojo, you can't, but... Morgana's here! Maybe he knows where everyone else is. Alright, it's worth a shot. Hey, Alley Cat. Seen anybody? Hey, you have a minute? Are you looking for someone? Haru? She was thinking about setting up a shop in Kichijoji. She went to inspect the new location with the president. She sure looked happy for doing a bunch of busy work. <sighs> Sorry, but is that all you needed? I kind of want to be alone. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Thanks, bud. But, uh, yeah, we can talk to the Phantom Thieves in a different order, but I'm just going to try my hardest to get them done in a timely fashion. There's a couple of ways that the uh, game abridges the repetitiveness of it, but a lot of it is, yeah, going into the, you know, subway station and then walking around and, oh my god, holy crud. It's Sainijima. Wait, Sainijima's alive. I'm an idiot anyway. Hey, girls. Ah. Uh. Hey, what a coincidence. Yeah, a coincidence. Totally. We were just doing a bit of shopping. <laughs> but soon, we're going to celebrate our dad receiving the Superintendent General Award. Oh, that's great. He definitely deserves it. <laughs> Come on, Makoto. You don't need to raise your voice over it. Remember dad telling you earlier to just act like it's not a big deal? <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. I'm just so thrilled for him. It's like he's finally getting the recognition that he deserves. You're correct. Well, I do feel the same way. So, what groceries do we need to pick up before we head home? I wonder what Dad would like me to cook. I made eggplant miso soup for your birthday. You had fried mackerel on yours, right? I can still remember how you pestered Dad about it until he cooked it for you. Hey! <laughs> Sis, don't throw the joker! I didn't pester him. He asked me what I wanted to eat for my birthday. That's all. Come on! Well, what a loving family. This is the reality Makoto wished for. Let's get along with her sister. Hey, what brings you out here? Sorry to keep you like this, by the way. Ah, uh, it's, it's cool. Uh, I, I came to see you, actually, so it works out. Me? Is something the matter? Yeah, uh... But... <laughs> are you having fun? With your family, I mean? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, of course. So... <laughs> this sucks so much. <laughs> Getting along together with your sister? Yes. Just as well as always. Even when she's busy at work. She always has my back. Couldn't thank her enough for all the... No, but... Wait. Something's wrong. Mom died, so Dad raised us alone. And sis... Please, Makoto, remember. I'm sorry, but you have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Flashback! But I'll be okay. 
I finally found a place where I belong. Uh, I just... Makoto? What's wrong? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. It's nothing. Sorry. We have more shopping to do. I'll see you later. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry. We'll chat again soon. God! Why is Joker such a buzzkill? Seriously! That one's awful! We just ruined her whole day! Nah, she'll be fine. Hopefully. Ugh! Was that one else I have to say? I wish this came true. Isn't my dog so cute? He's wearing a kimono. Oh, that is adorable. But it's not even real! None of you are real! I think. I don't know. Makoto seemed happy. Able to spend time with both her father and sister. That's just truly how things should be. Well... Yeah, I... I don't know! Crud, man. What if Maruki's right? Now F that and his stupid freaking... According to my calculations, this reality is a mirror. <sighs> Takes me off. Gave me all those freaking snacks, and for what? Just to get manipulated! Freaking... Ugh. Whatever. <laughs> this is seriously our daily routine. <laughs> it's awful. I hate it! But like... I don't know. I'm not normal. Crud, I'm so attached to these characters that like, of course, like... You know. When things are looking up for them, I wanted to stay that way, but... Uh, exactly. Yeah, that guy's got my back. <laughs> Wait, I went the wrong way. Crap, no, this works. <sighs> Is this truly a good reality? If I can't even be with the woman I want to love the most, it's... <laughs> no, it's too sad. <laughs> we gotta keep going. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the scramble today, and I think there's another character. Yeah, him. Hey there, guy. What's going on? Hey, don't you think something's kinda off about this town? Everyone looks so happy all of a sudden. What in the world's going on? It's almost creepy. Hmm, can I help this guy out, Maruki? What the crap? So much for your perfect reality, but... God, the effect is so freaking... It bugs me. Guess we should talk to some of these guys, right? Everyone in the streets seem to be in high spirits this year. I've been hearing nothing but good news. Perhaps it's because of everything that happened with Shido last year? Probably. But still, everybody just seems excessively happy. Uh, Senpai, please avoid doing your own thing for the first job of the new year, okay? <laughs> some people are... Wising up, I guess. Mm -hmm. By you guys. Everyone, offer your blessings to the sun god, for his surge of light has finally reached the earth. We now live in an ideal world where whatever we wish becomes reality. Now, offer your heart unto the sun and pray. New wishes shall be realized. I'm all right. Didn't really. Not too into gods. This guy's got an awesome hairdo. I wonder what he's up to. It's especially cold this winter. I can't perform as well when my fingers are numb. Tokyo's so cold now thanks to this cold snap. Feels like I'm back in my hometown. Even amidst all this hardship, I'm gonna become a rock star this year. And this one's for you guys. Ignite Studio Bedroom Heaven's Gate! Frozen pupils, watch the stars so bright. Concrete icicles rise up in the night! Uh, the chill in the air makes you feel weak. Reach out your hands and seek out the heat. The dancing angels cause a soul ascension. This is carbon monoxide intoxication. Please stop. A studio bedroom become heaven's gate. If you want to live, let your air ventilate. I like it. This guy's going places. You'll still never be as popular as superstar idol Rise Kujikawa. Change. Please. Yeah. You know what? Maybe this reality ain't so bad. Reset still put whatever. Moving on. We got places to go, and yeah, once you heck check out the map, uh Maruki's Palace might might be might be a little influential over the real world. I really like this detail. You can see exactly the spread of his uh 
desire, I guess, to help everybody. I don't know. Up next, we got our right hand man, Ryuji. He's got friends other than me. I can't believe it. I'm happy for him, but still. Kind of jealous. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You mean you got scouted by that college? Whoa. Pipe down, stupid. Come on. It's not for sure or nothing yet, anyway. I'm just saying the school's got more of something like that. Still, that rules. You even made it onto the podium at Nationals, too. I was worried about what would happen after you screwed up your knee. I'm glad you're able to bounce back. No way, man. Ah, you're so jumping the gun with this. I'm just trying to do my best so I don't get laughed off the team by you guys. Ryuji's laughing happily with the other members of the track team. It seems this is Ryuji's reality he wished for. Well, mm -hmm. here I am to ruin everything. Uh, hey, what are you doing here? It's still winter break, dude. Oh, maybe you stopped by to congratulate you too? Man, so much here is popular. Is there any place you want to go eat after practice? It's our treat today. <laughs> That's nice of you guys. How about extra large people and some pork miso soup? Hey, why don't you come with us, man? I'd love to, but uh, before that, how, how you feeling? Happy you can run again? Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course, but what's up all of a sudden? Uh, do you like it here? By chance? What? D do I like it? <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, I guess I did have a heck of a lot of growing since last year. If I went for all that, I'd be a totally different person now. Wait, what? <sighs> Ain't something wrong here? How do we know each other anyway? First we met in front of the station by the school, then... Please, Ryuji, I know it was a thousand episodes ago, but please remember. Huh? Uh, sir. Flashback. It's now or never! Here it goes! I tried. I tried to scream. I couldn't. Whoa. What the, the heck was that? You okay, Sakamoto? Yeah. What happened to you guys at the station? Uh, nothing. See ya. Sorry. Uh, gotta get back to practice. <laughs> I thought you guys were eating. Not going to practice. Dang it, man. Ryuji loses all the growth he had over this year. Like, obviously, yeah, a bunch of cruddy stuff happened to him, but... That would suck. It's like he's not even the same guy. I mean, I don't know. If, hypothetically, you took a right turn instead of a left turn, and you went on a magical, crazy adventure with your biker gang brethren, and you could go back in time and prevent you from taking that wrong turn, would you do it? Even if a bunch of really positive things happen. Sure, there was some, you know, bumps along the road, but it was still nice, right? Is this analogy I made up and pulled out of my butt working at all? Probably not. Ooh, it's cold today. I mean, it's cold all the time, but god dang, bro. There's be someone I haven't checked up on yet. Hmm. How could it be? There's actually a ton, bro. Mona doesn't count, but yeah, we can't, uh, you, can, you can't go straight there, I don't know why. It's my one gripe with this, I guess. Still, it's a really effective piece of storytelling. In my opinion, I guess. But after this, we'll probably just warp to directly where we're going, so. It's time to speedrun! <laughs> Captain Buskill, about to ruin everyone's life! <laughs> Up next, we're gonna see if we can find Haru and Kichi Joji. Along with that, we might as well see if Sakai's doing okay. It's not here. Spooky. <laughs> Was he an unnecessary element in this reality? Who knows? Is this the place? The one with the charismatic perfumer we read about in the magazine? Oh yeah, they got all those famous models and actresses using their products. The store manager's supposedly a mysterious guy too. Everyone's talking. I hope I can shake hands with them when I make my purchase. The line seems to be for the incense shop. I don't think I can get any further. Crud. Maybe Sakai is the manager. Possibly. 
going to be out of the ordinary, I guess. But yeah, there's a couple people we can bump shoulders with here in Kichijoji. Oddly enough, the monk is absent. Maybe because nobody needs to pray in this universe? I don't know. That's just inferring, I guess. But uh, yeah, even these guys. Hey, what's up? So, what'd you do over the holidays? Nothing much happens for a single man like me. Never mind that. What about you? Welcome the new you with the family. Haven't done that since... I don't know how long. Felt like a dream. Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get what's happening? They're in a dream. It's great. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Again, Haru. Then... Him. Hello there, Mr. Okumura. The amount of pedestrian traffic here is well within our threshold. This should make a fine location for a new store. Yes. I agree. The research says this community is more interested in high quality ingredients and modern store design. Perhaps this location should focus more on organic produce and a simple but elegant interior. Uh, hey. Bye. Fancy meeting you here. Oh. I didn't expect to run into you here. Uh, right back at you, but what you two up to? City planning? <laughs> I'm helping out my father today. I'm here to inspect a potential site for a new company store. Is this a friend of yours? Yes, he's been a wonderful friend to me. He's an underclassman at my school. Oh, to think you'd have a male friend, Haru. Uh, are you truly just friends? <laughs> um, Father, don't jump to conclusions like that. <laughs> Calm down, Haru. I was merely teasing. But still, were such a man to appear in your life, make sure you tell me right away, understand? Uh. <laughs> oh, Father. Is that jealousy I'm detecting? <laughs> wow. They're just so great. This is what Hari really wanted, her father to be a good dad. Dang. It's been quite some time since I last saw Haru like this. You must be a wonderful friend for her. Please keep being as good to her as you've been. After all, my daughter's happiness is my happiness. Father? Oh, would you care to do something together? We have a bit of free time, so we could grab a coffee or something. Uh, sorry, can't today, but you sure got a good dad, Haru. Right? Thank you. Yes, he is. Thank you. Although he can be a bit overprotective at times, but he's honest and caring. He really is my ideal father. So, what are you gonna do now? Uh, well, my next step would be I plan to work alongside my father and help him. Hmm. Um. What is this? I feel as if I'm forgetting something. Please, Haru, remember. I need you. Please. Hmm. Uh, oh, okay. What happiness can be found through profit gain by crushing the hearts of others? Excuse me? What? I don't even remember saying that. That just now, that was... Uh, Haru, what's the matter? Uh, nothing, father. Nothing, really. You must be getting exhausted after all this surveying. Why don't we take a break somewhere? My apologies for cutting this short. I do hope we all have the chance to speak more in the future. Until next time. Later, dude. An overprotective father. Instead of one that just... You know. God, what the crud! I hate this crap! It's so stupid! Why did it freak... I understand it's a goddamn video game, but still. Friggin... I spit all over my monitor. Such a little baby. Homer's happy for once. Oh! It's not even really her life. <laughs>
It's just what Maruki wants. Lars seems to be happy. Talk to her father without fear. Is that how things should be? Ideally, yes. I should check up on the other members tomorrow. Look, crow, we even got left. We did Yuji, we did Makoto, we did An and Shiho, did Haru friggin' yeah, that's all of Ah dump, I forgot Yusuke. My bad. There has to be someone I haven't destroyed the life of yet! Well, you should probably get on that, huh? Wait, isn't there someone other than Yusuke? Crow, am I an idiot? Whatever. Hey Morgana, help me out, it's kinda of your thing. Hey. Looking for someone? Futaba. She's out with the chief. I think they said something about hunting for games over in Akihabara. They look like such a happy family. The... Uh, hey. Have I always... Never mind. Forget I said anything. You're going out to see the others, right? Stay safe. Oh, yeah. I was thinking of just our combat team. Still gotta worry about Futaba. So, hope you're ready. This one's just so sad, dude. I don't even want to move. I don't want to... Because of stupid Cheeto and yelled about stupid game. Ugh. I don't know why I looked at the, that bird randomly on the TV. I don't know if he even saw that. Futaba lost so much. Now she has an actual... I mean, her, she had an actual family before, but still... Crud! Hey, Futaba, what's up, gamer? You get a Doki Doki oh, Picnic? Man. Whoa there, Futaba. Thought you just came here to buy a video game. B -b 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 it's Doki Doki Picnic! Can you feel it? All the limited editions and the gaming gear! It's the store's fault for being a one-stop shop, being emporium for gamers. <laughs> so, Mom? No, ma'am. Do you think I get supplemental grants with nothing but puppy dog eyes? Motion for additional funding denied. <laughs> My case was dismissed. <gasps> hey! What's up? Hello. Uh, look who stumbled into us. Come on. Hurry up and pick something already. You still gotta get lunch after this, right? We can take him too now. Oh. What a thoughtful gentleman. Hear that, Futaba? Sojiro is going to treat us all to lunch. Hey, don't go putting words in my. Really? Then back to LeBlanc, people. It's curry time! Oh, you eat all that all the time, though. That's because it's the best. You really can't get enough of that curry, can you, Futaba? I mean, she does have a point. <laughs> Thanks for the glowing review. Three of them all together, smiling. God. Seems this reality is the one that Futaba wished for. I don't blame her. Sounds good. I know how awesome Sojour's curry is. Yeah. It's the best. This coffee. A special recipe. Yeah. Sojour made it exactly for that reason. And Mom helped improve its flavor, too. Mmm. Wait, something's not right. Please, Futaba. Come on, we've got to move on. But, yeah, after all, I've grown a bunch, but... Oh, wait, what did you mean by... Come on, you got this, just a little bit more. Huh? I still don't get it. Come on, why won't you tell me? I won't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore. What's that? Uh, are you alright? You two are getting a bit weird. Must be a case of raging hormones. Look how serious they've both gotten. Uh, it's nothing. Let's go, Mom. The curry can't wait. Hey, he's still got stuff to do. I assume. Uh, we'll see you. Hey, Futaba. Don't just take off like that. Well, Time to head home. we're gonna head back. Come by for some grub when you're done with whatever it is you're doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a lot out here. You know me, just doing chores and ruining lives. That's Joker. Okay, just one more to go. But what game did she get? 
Did she get Doki Doki Picnic Club on the first, like, day? The deluxe edition's kind of rare. It comes with an art book. And a fart book. Futaba seemed happy to be able to spend her daily life with both her mother and Sojiro, who she loves very much. But is this really how things... Can you blame her? I'm sorry, man. Having your mom back to life? How can you beat that? Heck, how can... How can... Whatever. We're almost done. So far, we've convinced nobody. So it looks like it's... I don't know, catchy back on navigation. Let's be honest, he kind of sucks anus at that. God. What's up, Mona? How you doing? Hey, you what? have a minute? Yeah. Yusuke. He said he was going to check out the exhibits at the art museum in Ueno. Sounded pretty emotional. It said something about a piece finally getting recognition. Maybe you should check it out. I think something's wrong with me. Or maybe not. I don't know. Sorry. I didn't mean to hold you up. Don't mind me. Alright, man. See you around. <laughs> Here I come, Ueno! <laughs> I laugh maniacally to hide the absolute sorrow I am feeling right now. Anyway, saving the best for last. I wonder what piece of art is at the museum. I can see Yusuke in the distance. Seems to be viewing a painting. What should I do? Well... No, we gotta go. Seriously. Hey, man. What a coincidence. Huh. You came too. I was just thinking about contacting you. Take a look. My mother's painting is finally receiving the public attention that it deserves. It's on display for this week only. So I'm glad we have this chance to view it together. <laughs> I'm truly blessed. I've waited so long to see this painting of you. My drive to create a masterpiece of this caliber grows stronger every day. But thanks to my sensei's patronage, each day also brings me closer to painting such an impactful work. Nothing in the world could make me happier than I am at this moment. Wait, you're, you're what? You're who? Him? Indeed. Why, my sensei, of course. Madarame. Even after Mother's passing, Sensei never stopped advocating her work to the public. Not only that, he took me in and cared for me when I lost my only family. I truly cannot thank him enough. <laughs> Take it. Oh, I just had a wonderful idea. Why don't you come join us for dinner? Sensei's been very interested in meeting you. Don't worry. He'll pay even for the meal. A good meal, huh? Sounds perfect. No. Well, I wouldn't say that everything has to be perfect at all times, but... What's this about all of a sudden? Uh... This area looks great here, huh? Let's just change the subject. <laughs> the... Sayuri? Th that's not the painting's name. N no. Wait. That seems... Something's not right. Come on, Yusuke, you're so close. Please remember. I... What? Could I be making the same mistake as I did before? To think that this painting was the source of Madarama's distorted desires. The only saving grace is that my mother won't know of what transpired. I'm sorry, man. My apologies. Actually, I'm sorry. But I'd like to be alone for now. <sighs> Hope it worked. I mean... Uh. F this game. I hate this arc. I hate all of it. Uh. Now I gotta talk to a catchy friggin- It's me. I've uncovered a few things in my investigation this week. So I thought I'd share my findings with you. First, regarding Maruki himself. 
He's been researching the treatment of patients through changes in their cognitions since his college years. You already knew about that, correct? Maruki's work apparently had enough investors that he was planning to break ground on a research facility somewhere. And as you know, those plans never came to fruition. His funding was cut off, and his research was ended for him. It's probable. However, we can't be certain of the reason why. At least with our current understanding. What was the purpose of his research into cognitive science? Doesn't it feel like there's more to the story? For example, maybe his research was stymied by someone else for their own reasons. Anyway, that's all I could dig up about Maruki's history. The only thing that's become clearer is his stance on using cognitive science. He's dead serious about saving people. He distorted reality itself to make his dream come true. I can only imagine how delighted he is right now. Ah, that reminds me. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you. About the reality Maruki's put us in. It seems that Akumura and Wakaba are both considered alive by all accounts. They aren't mere illusions or cognitive beings. They truly are alive and existing in this world. In fact, their deaths seem to have never taken place at all in this reality. They seem to have been causing a stir in society. Just like in our original reality. But Shido alone was arrested on the crime of attempting to overthrow the government. Basically, in this reality, you and I haven't committed any crimes. I don't understand how Maruki was able to distort reality to such extremes. But at the very least, he was being honest when he told us that he'd make such revisions. And rather convenient ones. That's quite the funny joke. It makes me want to puke. Remaining in this Maruki revised reality means living under his thumb forever. And I refuse to live like that. I'll be the one to choose my path. That's how I've lived up to now. And it's going to continue from here till the end. But what about you? You saw them for yourself, didn't you? Your friends seem to have taken a liking to Maruki's version of reality. Don't tell me you've changed your mind after seeing them. Silence, huh? If you're going to run from this, please tell me as soon as possible. I don't want any unexpected complications popping up. That takes care of the info I wanted to share. See you soon. Are you going somewhere tomorrow? With Akechi? You guys are really hitting it off lately. Of course, that's not a bad thing. Hey, so about what you said before, you know, that stuff about my happiness? Sorry, it's nothing. Good night. Oh, you came. Based on the look in your eyes, I'm guessing your friends aren't going to be of any use to us. We need as much manpower as possible right now. I was hoping at least some of them would avoid being useless. But that seems to be beyond their capabilities. Well, there's no point in griping about it out here. Are you ready? As I mentioned yesterday, it's quite likely that we'll have to confront Maruki physically. If you're not prepared for such a contingency, then please go and take care of your affairs as quickly as possible. So, we couldn't recruit a single member of the Phantom Thieves to help us fight Maruki. 
which means it's just me and Akechi versus quite literally the new god of this world. And well, in the next episode of Persona 5 Royal, we're going to give it our all as we try and rescue her from this palace. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Because I know I did it. <laughs> Anyways, next time, it's for real. But we got Lucifer, so we'll be fine. Maybe. I don't know. See you guys next time. Bye.